let's have a look at some ways we can find the missing number. What number do I add to 7 to get 14? Well, if I add 3 to 7, I get 10. But I've got 14, which is 4 more. So instead of 3 plus 7, 3 and 4 more is 7. 7 plus 7 gives me 14. But you could also use the half of 14 is 7 here, or the double of 7 is 14. So it must be 7 plus 7. So sometimes there's more than one way you can actually solve it. Now we're going to use a number line this time. We've got a number, and when we subtract 3, we end up at 6. So let's think of a number line and where the number 6 is. So there's 6. Now, if we had started at 10 and subtracted 3, we'd actually end up at 7. So we've gone backwards 3 spots, so we jump 3 to the left. We'd end up at 7. So because we end up at 6, that means we must have started one space left of 10, which is 9. So 9, counting back 3 spots, takes us to 6. So a number line can help us visualise that.